we are in your holy presence. Today we have come to give you praise, to worship you, most high God, to proclaim your majesty, to exalt you, that you reign and your power is evident. We can see even throughout the entire universe. You are clothed in majesty and you are guarded with strength. Surely the world is established by your power so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established from hold. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O oh Lord, the floods have lifted up their voices. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. We praise you. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adores your house, O oh Lord. Today indeed, let it come to pass, even as we pray, that as the instrumentalist and the singers in oneness of heart to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking you, Father, we trust you that as they lift up their voices, even with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music to praise your name, Lord, even as we declare your goodness and your enduring mercy in this place, oh, that you will glorify the house of your glory, whose we are, that your Holy Spirit the spirit of glory will manifest in power that your presence shall surely be our expectation in this place. And we thank you for in your presence there is fullness of joy and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. But the name of the Lord be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and God's people say, Amen. Amen. Let's all have our seats, please. I want to welcome us to hours of praise. A different venue but our God is everywhere. I'm not the, the MC for tonight. I just want to give us some housekeeping. Um, I've been told, I've been informed that there's no fire drills today. So if there is, if, there won't, but paraventure there is, alarm goes off or there's an emergency, there are a few exits and you can see to your left through these doors and at the back. Now, if you're upstairs in the balcony, there's no exit route, come down the stairs and go through the main entrance. If, and, and if you're going through any of these exits, you walk through, just follow the stairs down and out. You go through the gate and Castilla Square or the car park at the back is the mustard point. Also, I want to, if you're upstairs in uh, the balcony, the toilets there are out of service. You're going to have to come downstairs and use a toilet down here. So you guys down here, you got the best spot. If you were here about 5, 10, 15 minutes ago, an hour ago, you've seen on the screen where it said, no eating, chewing gum especially, and other food in this auditorium. 
You can go to the, um, to the first foyer there by the cafe. You can have your meal or whatever you want to have, your snack, and then come back in. Only water is allowed in here, please. And please, I would say if you, ha if, if, you know, if you have mobility issues, please do not go upstairs. And when you are going up the stairs, because you can see it's a long staircase to go upstairs, please hold the handrail. I call that the three-point connection. So you've got your two feet on the ground and one hand on the handrail. So please do hold the handrail. I believe we're going to have a wonderful evening tonight. So turn to the person next to you and say, are you ready to praise God? Are you ready to worship God? Are you ready to celebrate tonight? Are you ready to celebrate tonight? Now at this point, I'm going to hand over to the man who's going to take us through it. Just welcome once again and have a wonderful evening. Come on, let's put our hands together as we stand to our feet. Come on, let's put our hands together. Come on, if you're here and you made it to 2024, put our hands together and appreciate the Lord. Come on, if you're going to clap, then clap like you mean it. Come on, let us thank God for his goodness, his kindness, his mercy. Let us thank him. You know where you're going to sleep tonight. Let us thank him that you have a shelter over your head. Let us thank him. Many didn't make it. Come on, a few more minutes. Let us put our hands together. Let's thank God. Let's be grateful. Welcome to the hours of praise. Come on, let us get ready. Get in that zone. Remember, when praises go up, blessings come down. Remember, where two or three are gathered in his name, he will be there in the midst. I want you to take the next two minutes and just reflect on what you hope and what you wish that God would do for you before you leave here. Sometimes we thank him for what he has done, but also we can thank him and praise him for what he's still going to do. Take a few moments for yourself before we have our first worship minstrel. Take two minutes. List two or three things. Come on. Two or three things that you're thanking him for or you're believing him for. Come on, you've got another 60 seconds. If you're blessed with the fruit of the lips, just take another 60 seconds and begin to praise and pray. And if you don't, then you can just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for vision. Thank you for covering me. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for going before me in every situation and circumstance. Thank you for the things you saved me from that I didn't even know you saved me from. Thank you for being faithful even when I was not faithful. And as you put your hands together, we're going to welcome our first minstrel. Come on, let's put our hands together as we welcome Elizabeth Babs to come and lead us in a time of praise and worship. Come on, let's put our hands together. It is God that we are giving the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. I was a praise 2024. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Are we excited to be here today? Hallelujah. We're ready to praise the name of the Lord. First, I'd like to thank the organizers of this great event for this invitation. I do not take it for granted, so thank you so much. Um, also, I've got my husband of 20 years here and then my children. Please help me celebrate them. Thank you for all your support. Now, I want you to celebrate yourself for being here tonight. Come on, give yourself a round of applause. Hallelujah. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be here. 
Now, ultimately, let's give it up to the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The King of glory. The one that has made it possible for me and you to be alive tonight. Let's just give him a round of applause. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Give him praise. It's worthy. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. You will God, we thank you. Rekata yadaba, shata handa yadaba. If you can speak in an unknown tongue this evening, just give him praise. Rekata yadaba, shata handa yadaba. For it is in you we live, we move, and we have our being, Jesus. Rekata yadaba, yadaba, shata handa yadaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For great is your faithfulness to us, O oh God. For great is your mercy over our lives, O oh God. Who are we that you are mindful of us? So we give you praise, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, great is your faithfulness. Oh, Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever. Sing it again. I said, Great is thy faithfulness. Hey, hey, great is the faithfulness. Morning, my morning, new mercies we see. And all that we needed, your precious eyes has provided. Lord, I so great is our faithfulness, oh Lord, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee, thou changest not thy compassion.
The Bible says, let everything the house spread. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on. One, two. That us spread. Praise the Lord. Let everything. in the valley I praise on the mountain yeah I praise when I'm sure I praise when I'm doubting I praise when I'm numbered I praise when surrounded yeah cause praise is the waters my enemies drowning hey I've got some breathing, I've got the reason to
Praise 
the gift of Elizabeth Bubbs. Come on, if you're going to clap, let's clap like we mean it. Remember, we now are in an atmosphere of praise. Please don't be interrupted. Let us keep the praise going for a few hours. We have come for the hours of praise. We are not here to be entertained. We are here to be empowered. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay in the presence of God. And make sure you leave here with something changing in your life. Without further ado, ladies and gents, come on, let's put our hands together. Let us welcome Ade, Anatoria, Laura, Sarah Grace. Let us stay in worship. Let's go. seats or chairs for anyone please um if your uncle your auntie your friend your brother hasn't come till now they are late let somebody take their seat let's fill up the seat so we can keep things moving and it looks smooth somebody that can sing come and save me here come on quick come come somebody anyone all right um they'll be with us shortly Wow. I wish I could sing. That would have solved the problem. I should sing? Are you sure? Never. Only God loves my singing, no one else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Everybody. Hallelujah. 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 to praise the Lord in this place. Is that okay? I got my trainers on and I'm about to praise God on this stage. Amen. So I might need you guys to join me. Are we okay to do that? We're not doing this for ourselves, are we? 
Hey, where's the energy? I thought I had people who love Jesus in this place. We're not doing this for ourselves, are we? We're gonna lift up praise that brings God into this room, amen? I want the praise we're gonna lift up to allow God to have space. I actually want you to tell the person next to you, say, give me space. Cause I'm about to praise my God. Tell another person, give me space. Cause I'm about to praise my guy. Okay, let's go. Clap your hands with me. Come on. Hey. Here it goes. Water, you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Come on, if you know the song, sing it.
of praise in the room. I'm not satisfied with the sound in the room. Shout until there's no breath in your lungs to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords. The United Kingdom should know men have gathered to worship the King. Men should know you have gathered to see the King. Men should know that people of God have gathered for the praises of Jehovah. People of God, are we ready to praise God? Because when blessing was needed, she was given everything, but there was a resistance. People of God, are we ready to praise Jesus? Are we ready? If we can for one moment. If we can for one moment. I want us to just tap the person next to us and say, hi, hi, excuse me. Hi, hi there, excuse me. Can I just let you know what's about to go down? We're about to glorify and yeah, come on. Reigns forever. I 
he's an awesome God. Do you know he's an awesome God? Men of God, do you know he's an awesome God? Women of God, do you know he's awesome? Hey, our God, our God, our God, he's an awesome God. Oh, he ta ta ta
our Messiah. Give him a shout of praise. Yes. Amen, amen. Oh, yes. We're about to enter a time of worship. I hope we're not tired. Are you tired? Ask your neighbor, are you tired? Uh, ask your other neighbor, I hope you're not tired. Ah, okay. So, so I turned a new age yesterday and oh, we give glory to God. And it just had me thinking, you know, sometimes you have them, you know, your birthday, you think, wow, like I'm, I'm a new age now. Like God really brought me here. And sometimes, I, I was sitting down yesterday, I was thinking, wow, sometimes we have to just remember everything that he has done for us. Remember the goodness that he has shown us, his manifold grace that he has shown us through and through, through the bad times and through the good times. It's just, he's just amazing. Amen, church? Amen, Amen church. So I was just, you know, I was just in, in awe that somebody can, waking me up, remember to wake me up. Sometimes some of us don't remember to wake up to our alarm, but you know, we're, we're, we're here by the grace, you know, but we just, we just, we just, just say sweet words to him right now and just lift up a voice to the heavens right now, whether it's you singing a sweet melody unto the Lord and just thanking him. Just remember a time he has been so good to you and just thank him. again I love you Lord I love you Lord for your mercies never fail all my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake moment that I wake up until I lay my head the goodness of God for in all my life you have been faithful from the moment I was born and all my life you have been so so good yeah, yeah, yeah. with every breath that I am able See you. 
is now and forever, is now and forevermore. Lift up your voice and sing, you've been faithful, Lord. Beginning and the end, that is why, that is why your name is forever. Sing, you've been faithful, Lord. Oh, from the ages, from the ages past. somebody today you are in public let your neighbor know what God has done for you yes. by the sound and by the reason of your praise yes. by the way and the sound that you worship him yes. let your neighbor know that he has brought you this far let your neighbor know that he woke you up this morning let your neighbor know that he has delivered you let your neighbor know that he has healed you let your neighbor know that you have faith that he will carry you from yesterday to today until the end of your life until the meeting of the day that he comes back. Let your worship reflect your heart posture towards God. Sing, we hail you.
should die. Oh my God, you are Shira. To me, you are Adonai. And I know you will manifest yourself.
Adonai, Adonai. Echo, Baka, Zute, Liva, Zuta. Hello, 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 hello. You are hello, hello. If we can, if you would like to join us for two minutes to begin to pray. You see, in Acts, they said something. We have a few minutes left. They said something. They said they worshipped, they prayed, and the Holy Spirit began to move. If you could tap into this moment of faith right now, I'm telling you, the weapon of your worship could bring down the strongholds that have been troubling you for centuries in your family. So begin to raise your voice. We're still going to worship, but we're creating an atmosphere conducive for the Holy Spirit to move. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Please, please, I'm not begging you. I just want you to join me in this moment. Let's begin to pray. If you can't speak in tongues, just begin to glorify Him. You don't know. This is a moment of intimacy, but a moment of intentionality. Sarah said it. She said, I know what God has done for me. I know what God has done for me. Hello, 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 hello. In a nice Sudan, does a his ever gozana be the sova? He brancos and gozai diva, his o gativa, hello, hello. And a namuza diva, and a casuti out of my bed shall flow. of living waters yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Sing out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living water yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! So takuri kaso yeah. Out of my belly shall flow Of living water, Sutane Mekosai, Irakosante, Asotataya, Saprecosa, out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Sing out of my belly. Raise your hands. Of living, of living Holy Ghost, 
ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost, holy ghost, out of our belly shall flow. Streams of creativity, streams of praise, streams of worship, streams of adoration, streams of glory. Oh, say out of our belly shall flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your volume. I'm saying I cannot hear you.
song that has been going around lately and it talks about the Holy Ghost being within us and us being so glad the year 2023 for some of us we said Holy Spirit where are you but we were so glad that in 2024 pastor I stood and I said Holy Ghost I'm so glad bless it release music and I said Holy Ghost I'm so glad Laura released music I said Holy Ghost I'm so glad are you glad that the Holy Spirit is with us hey you are here you are here Holy Ghost I'm so glad you are here you are here you are here Holy Ghost I'm so glad you are here you are here you are here. Holy Ghost, I'm so glad you are. You are here. You are here. Holy Ghost. You are here. You are here. You are here. Holy Ghost, I'm so glad you are. You are here. Just walk around and say, You are here. Holy Ghost, I'm so glad you are here. Just walk around and say, You are here. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I'm so glad. Holy Ghost, I'm so glad. Holy Ghost, I'm so glad you are here. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I'm so glad you are here. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I'm so glad you are here. Something's changed. Something's changed. Hey! Can you feel it? Oh. 
food Something's changing See his glory Feels like heaven on earth Something's moving Something's changing See his glory Feels like heaven Something's on earth Something's moving 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 Something's changing Something's changing See his glory See his glory Something's changing Something's moving Something's moving Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Let's put those hands together. Come on, let's shout. How many times last year did you look on social media and you suddenly saw an announcement that somebody you had seen a few weeks ago or a few months ago was no longer with us? How many times in 2023 did you see a message that somebody was missing. How many times have you heard that a child, yesterday I was in a school and a student was telling us about her two-year-old brother who had been diagnosed with cancer. Sometimes we assume and we take it for granted that it's not us. People go to sleep and they don't wake up. People are walking along the street and they suddenly collapse and that is the end for them. But God in his mercy, it wasn't you. It wasn't me. It wasn't your family member. It wasn't your mom. It wasn't your dad. It wasn't your uncle. It wasn't your auntie. Come on, let's put our hands together and give the Lord some praise. Come on, let's appreciate God for his goodness and his mercy. Come on, shout for his protection. Don't get tired. Don't get tired. Stay in this atmosphere. Without further ado, ladies and gents, brothers and sisters, welcome our sister, Esther Farinde. Come on, let's put our hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Such a wonderful time in God's presence. Please don't sit down. We are noisy. Just know you're sitting down something. We're going to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, 2024 has started in an interesting way for my family particularly, but for most people. Um, uh, so quite recently, I lost my younger brother um, this week, actually. And I just remember... In all the planning of hours of praise and everything and all the logistics and everything that was happening, you know, it was a matter of, will you go? I can't go because I'm, I'm down, you know. I'm, I've just lost my brother. How am I going to praise God, right? How am I going to worship? And then I just heard, it's a lie from the pits of hell. The devil wants to keep you down. He wants to keep you in your demise. He wants to keep you in your disappointments. He wants to keep you in that in that low state. But you have to forge forward and say, no, I'm going to rise and I'm going to praise my God. I'm going to praise my healer because I serve a living God. Listen, regardless of the situation, God is still God. He still reigns. He's still good. He's still mighty. He's still able to save. So in 2024, don't worry about how it's starting right now. Know that you have a good God. You know that you serve a living God. And the devil knows it. And he tries to put you down. But today we say we serve a living God. Even the devil knows. Not true. Yeah. Not true. Not true. Not true. Hallelujah. Come 
on, let me see you clasp your hands. Hallelujah. We're going to bless the Lord today. I'll teach you the chorus. I serve the living God, or oh, even the devil knows. Say not true. Oh. Let me hear you. Say, let me hear you. I serve a... That's it. Again. I serve a living God, oh. Even the devil knows. Say not true. Oh. Not true, not true, not true. Oh. Everybody knows. Say not nah, you there.
carry last. Let me hear you. i 
singing this at this time. And people are thinking, well, you've just had a bereavement. Why are you here? God is still God. God is still God. Situations look dire, but God is still God. There's nothing he cannot turn around. Who knows? I know that we lost a beautiful soul. However, God blessed us with someone so wonderful. He was so good, he had to go. And we take solace, we find solace in that. But God is still God. Your situation, I don't know what it is, but your situation as you step into 2024, I need you to line up with what God is saying. I need you to understand the word of God. I need you to listen to the voice of God. Because in that time, you will not miss it. I pray we do not miss it. I pray that we align with what God is saying. I need to hold on to him like never before because he is God. He is true. He is the king of all kings. He reigns forever and ever and ever and ever and will continue to reign. Only you, you are God of everything. In every moment, we will see, see above. Sing. We will sing. Preach. 
hasn't happened to you it looks easy it sounds easy one more time come on let's put our hands together and appreciate the gift of Esther Faraday and while she's here we're gonna invite brother Soji and a thousand tongues in here we're gonna pray for her come on going on well yes we can praise him but this sister here this is not scripted I'm going to tell you the fact as she was ministry the spirit is just telling me that we need to pray for her what happened in the past maybe last week you must have heard about a situation in a country called Nigeria and there was this explosion somebody died you know three or five people died according to these data given to us and one of them is his brother and he's here singing that God is everything and he's here 
raising the altar of praise in the midst of the darkness. Please, can you stretch your hands to her and just pray? Please, whatever, the any way that the Lord leads you, I want you to pray for her. Every pastor that is here, please, can you come on stage? Irrespective of the church where you are, please come upstairs. Come to the stage. Every pastor on the stage, on you know, sitting on the auditorium, please, irrespective of your church, please just come up. People of God, please pray for this sister. It's only God that can comfort her. She has defeated the devil tonight. Despite of the situation, she raised the banner of altar to God Almighty. Let's pray for her. That God Almighty will console her and console her family. Father, you are faithful. And as what's been said earlier, it doesn't matter what's happening. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter what we face or what we don't face. In the mountains high and in the valleys low, you are still God. And Father, I lift up Esther and her entire family, both those who are here in the UK and those across the globe, in Nigeria especially. At this time of their grieving, at this time of bereavement, at this time whereby their hearts is full of sorrow but Lord you are able to wipe away those tears you are able to strengthen them even through this grieving you are able to uphold them and comfort them and so we pray tonight collectively that you the God of heaven would comfort this family that you the God of heaven will strengthen this family that you the God of heaven will console them you'll wipe away their tears yes they have loved a dear loved one of which you love even more but I pray that Lord you would keep them your arm of grace would uphold them and in the days the weeks the months and even the years to come Lord, that you would keep them going. And the faithfulness and the goodness of you, O God, concerning them, Lord, will not be withheld. Your garment of praise will not be put down in their homes. The altar of honoring you will not be teared down, O God, but it will be lifted up to honor you, the God of heaven. And so we pray that the Lord will keep you and your entire family. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will shine his kindness up. And the peace of God that surpasses the understanding of man will fill every single one of you and lift you up and hold you and make you whole. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God is still God. God is still good. God is still God, and God is still good in all seasons. In the summer, and especially in this winter, God is still God, and God is still good. I know some, many of us in this weather have wondered how we found ourselves in this country. Why did our parents even come here? Why did my dad not just leave me five million? I could have left. God is still God and God is still good. One more time. Come on, let's put our hands together and appreciate the Lord. And let us stand to our feet. Let us stand to our feet. Let's not get tired. Remember, it is a marathon of praise. Let us stay locked in in all seasons. We're about to welcome our next gift. Some of you have come because you wanted to hear this individual. Ladies and gents, without further ado, she's a singer, she's a songwriter, she's a worship leader. 
let's put our hands and give God praise for Lucy Grimble. Come on, let's go. good to be here. Um, I just wanted to start um, just by reading this psalm, which is sort of the inspiration for the song I'm going to start with. The song is called Thanks and Praise. And the psalm, Psalm 92 says, it is a good and delightful thing to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness by night. And just as I was reminding myself of that psalm, I just love the way it says to remind myself of your loving kindness in the morning. Almost like the fact that every morning when we wake up, we wake up to the love of God. We wake up to the kindness of God. And then to declare your faithfulness at night, that when we go to sleep, when we lay our head, we can say, my God is faithful. He loves us, he is kind to us, and he is faithful. So we're gonna start in that place and we're going to continue the beautiful praise the beautiful oil that is being poured out in this place amen Amen. who's ready to worship some more we've still got a few hours to go i think (laughs) amen
really had this sense of, um, you know, it's the beginning of the year, it's January, and what a beautiful way to start our January in a time of worship like this, and I just really felt this this invitation just to surrender again, just to submit to the Lordship of Christ, and just to say, Lord, as for me and my house, we will worship the Lord this year, that no matter what comes, I am going to worship. I am going to say that you are Lord and that I trust you. I trust you more than men. I trust you more than horses and chariots. I trust in the Lord. And that is how I'm going to start my year. And that is how I'm going to set my my um, my path for this year. So we're going to sing this song called New Wine, which is about just surrendering everything again, just getting back on the altar and saying, my life is yours, Lord. Do with me what you will. And as I surrender and as I submit, as we surrender, the most beautiful things happen in our life. What God can do with a yielded vessel is just incredible. So yeah, Father, we want to acknowledge you, our Lord, in this place. And we want to just put ourselves back on the altar and say, Father, use me work through me. I submit to you as you submitted to us as as God, but coming to earth and dying on the cross. You submitted and you poured out and you emptied yourself of everything for us. And we want to do the same. We want to just empty ourselves of all the pride and we want to cast our crowns before you, Jesus, and say, there is no one else for me but you, Lord. There is no other king. There is no other person I will follow but Jesus. Cause in the pressing and in the crushing, you are making new. In the soil I now surrender Cause you are breaking new ground So I yield to you and to your careful hand When I trust you I don't need to understand So make me a vessel I came here with nothing And all you have given me Jesus, bring new wine out of me It's in the pressing It's in the pressing And in the crushing You are making new wine In the 
Jesus, I came here with my name. Oh, you have given me, Jesus, bring your wine out of me. Jesus, bring your wine out of me. Jesus, bring your
Appreciate God for the gift of Lucy Gripple. Let us give God some praise. God bless you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. While you're still standing, we are not going to waste any time. Stay in the atmosphere. Remember, it is a marathon. Hallelujah. As I was just walking around, somebody whispered to me, when is so-and-so coming to minister? They're coming. All of you have your own special person. I won't tell you who mine is. All of them. All right. Without further ado, we're now taking a trip to West Africa. Ladies and gents, come on, let us put our hands together. And welcome this gifted woman of God, composer, singer, songwriter, worship leader. Let us make some noise and welcome our sister Tope Alabi. Let us keep those hands going until she gets there. Come on, let's encourage her. She's coming. She's coming. They're coming. They're coming. Let's encourage them as they come. It's going to be one of those moments. Let's Me encourage my Lord. them. Lucy, 
Olorun gbo gbo agba nlaye bi owo re soke lift up your hands and begin to wave those hands to Jesus lift your hands kendale bo satara yaba mandale rada yakodo bo soti yaba e deli abakuda so bara ya Ko she leba afi kama dule 
kabesi olodumare le kan si oruko ti won ba mo pe be pe ni oruko ti won ba mo andale ba sho tale de yaba rondale adada kaboso to ari aba endele aba laro to so kori andale brakado so to ara yaba blessed be your holy name oo ya ara yaba sakara yaba andale bara yaga Call 
call you at all for And I will call you only my gem to keep my gem. That is your name. Is here in London. I think one 
She's here in London. But we were just, we were just, we were just pro, I mean, we were doing a program on, online that day. I can't forget. Her name is Timilei. And only Lelo Mjoko see. Oh, there, look, oh, can box. Oh, there, it's a call email. A real look, we, oh, there, won't look any, want to cook any day. Won't break any day. Aha, kill of a penny city. Got off a coche for any of a cook, we need a lay. Won't be denny. Won't be defony. Won't be defony. I call him Hila. Over one of my band members, over one of my backups, I call him Hila. I didn't know when I was praying that I want to, I want to take this girl. Oh Lord, should I take her? God said I should, I should take her. Go on, employ her. I employed the girl. And when she came into my ministry, I didn't know that she's an asthma, asthma patient. And you know, for like about two, three months, I have one of them here. So, oh, and so and. Anytime to party near attack here, they will cover her in the room where the band, uh, the band room. They will cover her. They will be looking for a inhaler, and they will be running at her skelter. But that very day, that very day, they should mama phone me, call Jawa Julie me mo. That very day, they should mama phone me, call Jawa Julie me mo. Like you, I just, we just heard the the, the, the the noise from the back, and I was like, what is going on? He said, hey, stop well. Her name is Stop well. He said, stop well. Uh, uh, she's an asthma patient. Hey, patience. Just don't want to tell you so that you don't tell her to go. Uh, this is the only thing she's doing to make herself and uh, the family. Ah, let's go. And I was like, okay, all right. Bring her out. My husband took, you know, we had the other guys, they took her to the hospital. Not, not even to the hospital. One, uh, someone like that. Pharmacist, they collect Belewa. And they took her there. One thousand five hundred. I have two thousand on her. Then, I stand. I said, You are a healer. God, you are a healer. Oh, Kishoku, oh, Sikiri, more than it, more than it, Siki, no lady, to repay one long baby, oh, the Sikiri. That was what I told him. And I got to the gate and I told, I told that asthma, because asthma is a spirit, <laughs> in case you don't know. I called the asthma, I said, Mr. Asthma, let me tell you. Whenever you want to torment somebody, when you get to the gate of this house, go back yo. Go back yo. That was what people, all of them were just looking at me. Yeah. To cut the long story short, my friend and my brother, brethren, till this day, what's that? Me lobay. At me two years by. Oh, don't we came up? Asthma yet better. What do you want to call God? What what is that name you want to call God? What is that name that you want to call God? Oti bakamu. There are some there are some bad story, bad issue in your life that you have taken it like that. You know, one of those things. You know, where we're not in heaven and you know in life here inside life. You know, things happen like that and there is nothing you can do about it. And I say, are you a Christian? You don't have to. Ah, no. Eh. Ah, so bad. To fear. Oh, that is it. That is it. That I want you to call him that name. I don't know. For adventure, you are here. You might be here this evening. And you are here with that very thing that you have been carrying all about. Let me tell you. Today is the last day you will see that thing. Today is the last day that you will see that thing. In the name of Jesus, I will call you healer because that is your name to my life. That is your name. That is your name. Because that's who you are to me. I will call you healer. I will call you
Ponija. Oko so oko ajeo beni mungwe. That is your name. That is your name. That is your name. I wo loko so o mu loko ajeo. Mori Mori si Mori omo tutu o we mo mo da ke da ke alabe nu asasi alabe ile asawa ba ni ma lojo ju oku le o pe mo ni jagaru o bo ni ja kokoro nu aye kokoro o di orun ile ko kokoro ati ko ati wole sinu le ti ta o de kabies o that is your name 24 hours won pe obe of Nazareth Eru jeje omo Maria Olopo ajobo Aboka aboku abopeleke Aboyo abowole aboja de layo E dani ka ka o so tari aba That is your That is your name
se kiki kawura odaorun ataye pelu ara oto e bo mi ajisa aji sola mo ko suwa oko rabane ibere oko ari oko olun koku oko ibe yi oko eni ti gbo pa ye yo pada wa bo ka bi esi o Let me tell you something. 
Some people are saying, yeah, I left Nigeria for the past 16 years or for the past six years. I've been, you know, I've been going up and down, back and forth. I don't even understand what is going on. You are here to make money. God brought you here to keep you from the enemies. You are here to make money. You are here to make pounds. Change it to Naira and make big money. Like it is, because it is what it is. What can we do? It is what it is. But God brought you here to keep you. And when it is time to make that money, it will let you make the money. Tell your neighbor, be kept. Mm -hmm. Say, be kept. Be kept. God brought you here to keep you. Be kept. And be making that small money and just let it rain upon you and you'll see what God is about to do. You'll see what God will do alone. Ask me who is Jesus and I will tell you things he has done for me. Ask me why I love him and I will tell you how much he loved me when I've not met him at all. Oh, lo wa miri ni bati mori no shako. Oh, lo we mi ni nwejere mosimo. You know what is doing in your life now? It's dipping you inside his blood to make you stronger. When you come, you'll come out stronger. Along. Along. You know when you're about when Nigeria wants to tell you that ah, I mean that thing, you know, along. God. That is God. Along, but. Along, but even Christians, some Christians will say we're lying. Because they want, because they want that person to know that it's true. They say along, but, along, but. Then when they get, they say we're lying. You were like, ah, uh ah. -uh. From redeemed Christian Church of God, we're like it. From when I saw our, our life. No, he wants you to know that what I'm telling you, I am very, very sure. Along. I know. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, no, wa miri ni bati mori no shako. Oh, no, wa mi ni nwejere musimo. Iye bi ye ni ramada mi taloda bi. Be 
celebrate you for coming this evening and I do not take it for granted I love you yes I love you hallelujah you know love is reciprocal so you love me that's why you're here today you love us all of us that's why you're here this evening so we love you right back to the moon and right back <laughs> hallelujah Glory to Jesus. Are you ready to dance? Yeah. Are you going to dig it for Jesus this evening? Monjo go. Timba fi jo fi bread iku elo mi obe. Monjo go. Come on, celebrate my backup singers, please. Celebrate my instrumentalists, please. Celebrate my husband, please. Yes. And of course, celebrate my wonderful brother, please. Unstoppable. <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate the covenant of this program. Your hands together for Jesus in his life. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Yeah? Huh? Are you ready? Some people, they love to go to party and dig it for only party. Ah, but me, I love to dig it for Jesus. Are you ready? Oh, Tia. Oh, Tia. Oh, Tia.
something for you in the next three months. Oh, they're my dairy. And that's what I had in my spirit. That's why I called you up. Yeah. You want God to do that thing in the next three months. It's going to happen. Look so hard. So hard. So high. It's too much. You don't think God can do it. And you don't think it can happen in the next three months. I'm telling you, you'll send a DM to me. And I will help you to praise God. In the name of Jesus. That is the name that can do it for you. No man. No man. No pastor. No prophets. But Jesus will do it. Come on, lift your right hand up. Just your right hand. Begin to tell God that thing. Tell it to God. Tell it to God. I want miracle. I want miracle over that very thing. I want miracle to happen. In the next three months. In fact, three months. Take baby, baby. Before the middle of February, it's going to happen. Some will happen at the end of February. Then some March. Honestly. What I want you to bring as you're lifting your hands up is your faith. Faith is very, very important in this matter. He will walk it out. He will make it happen. He will walk it out. He will make it happen. Jesus. 
Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name that will do everything. Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name that will do everything. He will sort it out. Sort it out. He will make it happen. He will sort it out. And he will make it happen. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the name that will make it happen. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the name that will make it happen. He will walk it out. He will make it happen. He will walk it out. He will make it happen. Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name that will make it happen. Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name that will make it happen. O ti se be fun Bartholomew afojuri. O deri ran lesekese o. O ti se be fun oni sun eje odun mejila. O di se ti aso re mu lo bagbadun. Kini o le se. Kini o le se. You will make it up. You will walk it out. You will make it up. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have done it. You have answered all this prayer request. You have granted it all. Thank you, Jesus. You have granted all. I said all. No one is left here. He has granted it all. You are going home with testimonies. You are coming back on the Instagram or whatever or send a message or email that it has happened. You say, God has made it happen. He has sorted it. What is sorted? Lord, God, Jesus Christ, told you to go to color. That we don't get. Ni oru God, Jesus Christ, you know that. Betty, we are one is okay. There be him, Tefe. Kyo should met out do you to be. Lord, call Jesus Christ alone. Go down. Alone, down. Alone, down. It's sorted. It's sorted. It's sorted. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I'd like to remind you that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. If you have. If you have not given your life to Christ, please don't go home without saying yes to Jesus. That is the only way. That is the only thing remaining for you. The life, the earth is up and down now. It's full of ups and downs. So, the only way you can follow that will make your life better, that will suit your life, suit your destiny is Jesus, the way. The way of Jesus Christ is the only way that will suit you. Please accept him as your Lord and personal Savior before the time is over. If you are here, you want to say yes to Jesus, just lift your hands. I'm not going to call you out. Just lift your hands wherever you are. If you're going back to your seat, just lift your hands. And, Jesus, I'm saying yes to you. I say yes. I say yes to you, Lord. Say yes to you, Jesus. Baba le koni. Kia koni, kekwa koni o kaburo salo. Iwani kon, le mi mo tiki koni o. Baba le koni, kia koni, kekwa koni o kaburo salo. Iwani kon, le mi mo. Hey, 
Many of you have been here for a couple of hours. There's not a single drop of sweat. Please don't go home the same way you came. At least let there be sweat. Some of us, when we used to go clubbing back in the days, our shirt would be drenched. You know, at least let a few droplets drop from you. Very quickly, we're going to have a quick presentation in regards to the charity work that is done and the partnership. Then we'll have a quick word, let there be light. And then Brother Dio Bello will come, you know how it goes, and bring down the house. Please welcome Sister Agnes and Brother Soji as they come to present to us. Come on, let's put our hands together and appreciate these people. These are the guys behind the scenes that make this happen. Praise the Lord. have these feelings of knowing why we are here. Why do we call it hours of praise? Um, this happened in 2017, and the pastor was preaching, and he talks about there are 10 lepers that was healed, and only one came back to give praise. And on that note, you know, you know it hit me to say, oh, for what the Lord have done, what have I show an appreciation, you know, to him. Although it is very easy when the Lord have done something, we show testimonies and we share it, we are rejoicing, we jump up and down. But then I learned something from the life of David. I think in the book of Second Samuel, uh, chapter 24, something like that, um, David was to offer an offering to the Lord. So he went to... Um, the man that have everything, you know, that he's going to use to praise that Lord. And he got there. Oh, when the man had that, oh, David, you want to offer a sacrifice of praise? Oh, yeah, take everything you want. You know what? David said, no. I am not going to do something that does not cost me to the Lord. So sometimes... If we want to show an appreciation to God, we have to do something that costs us. It could be time, it could be money, it could be anything. And I think God is, you know, worthy to receive everything that we give to him. So on that note, we created our surprise. So for me, I just thought, okay, let me raise this altar once in 2017 to give praise to him. So... We put the plans together, 2018, yes, it happens. But the testimonies that followed, it was very, very difficult for me to say I want to back up. So I understand, you know, to put things together like this is money and, you know, the edifice, the venue, the artist, calling the artist to come and minister. So it's not an easy something. So I, for me, I was just thinking that, okay, you do it one, and then you forget, at least God will accept that, and then I will move on. But, you know, second year, I said, okay, let me try again. Yeah, this time around, I did it again. I was also thinking, once I finished it, I would just stop, and then, yeah, God, I've done my bit. 
But it doesn't work that way. On, in the dream, in the people that surrounded me, every one of them, they were saying, yes, this altar must continue. So today, by, the God, by God's grace, this is the seventh edition of... Honestly speaking, it is not an easy thing, I have to say the truth. Um, putting these shows together, you're talking about between 25 to 30,000 pounds. It is not easy. But I think for me, I was just behaving like um, Hulk Hogan, those, those of you that watch wrestling. So I was thinking, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, let me keep going. But this year, something happened. And it now comes to a situation whereby the trustees and people that surrounded me were saying, no, it can't be one man vision anymore. So on that case, I was just thinking, okay, what are we going to do? So it means that if my source of income stop, then there won't be hours of praise. The trustees that surrounded me said, we need to open up hours of praise for everybody to be blessed. Actually, I was thinking that, well, I don't want to lay a burden on anybody so I can carry on, but they said, no way, Mr. Man. We got to a vision now that is higher than you. We have to open up our surprise. So on this note, we got to that point that we need a partner. Before this year, every one of us, you know that the cost of living have gone up. So also, to rent a hall like this have gone up. To call the artists, as well, they've gone up. I remember I make an arrangement with Travis Green to come down to this place. The cost of getting him is 30,000 pounds. Okay, I look at, okay, so let's look at other artists as well. In fact, to bring Mavericks down to the UK is 500,000 pounds. So I look, I said, even if they sell everything about me, <laughs> it's not possible. And then you know what? If just only one artist is costing that amount, then what about the venue? What about every other thing? So I think we got to that stage where only me cannot carry on the vision anymore because it's now larger than me. So on this note, I just want partners. And when I mean partners, if God gave you the grace that you can give us, let's say, 10 pounds a month, 20 pounds a month, 5 pounds a month, just to augment what we have so that we can carry on, I will be so happy. The chaos code is being displayed. Please, if you bring out your phone, and just scan that thing there, the QR code. Whatever God lays in your hands to support, you know, our surprise, I will be more than happy. And I pray that that source of income where you are bringing it out it will not dry it in Jesus' name. And one thing I know, for the past seven years that we've been organizing our surprise. This God has never failed me. And for this reason, I just want you guys to try God, you know, with me. Make sure that whatever you are giving, you are not just giving because somebody is asking. If you have a story in your life, just like me, 
I can't, I, you know, I was born into humble families and, and even to be able to, you know, afford two, three square men in a day is difficult. And here I am, I'm able to sponsor. It's God's grace. That's my story. If you have a story and you want to give praise to God in a way that will cost you something, please, let's do this. 10 pounds, 20 pounds. If God gives you the grace to even issue a check of a million pounds, we'll be very grateful. So this is where we are. Please, the ushers are all passing a barcode just in case if you don't, if you can't um, scan in for one reason or the other, the barcode is there with the ushers. They are moving around. So please just call them, whatever God lays in your hands, and let's do it. And this is my promise to you. I know that what you are doing is for God, not for a man. We will become a partner. We will come at the one point coming together about how I surprise, how we do things. You will know more about it. And uh, lastly, in order to show accountability, we've decided to create hours of praise to make it a charity. So if you Google hours of praise, it will give you our charity commission. So it's now become a charity that is registered. And I know that most of you, you already know that if you have a charity, that crown, <laughs> you must be accountable. So that is the promise of accountability is there. So please, I just pray that God will give you grace and then your sacrifice of praise will be acceptable to him in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Soji, or Mr. Odo, as I call him. Um, I was also going to say, he was being very modest, and um, we practically almost forced him to say, don't be the only one enjoying the benefits of supporting the charity. Open it up so everyone, you know, other people have the opportunity to sow seeds, be a blessing, and also be blessed. So we just want to say, you know, thank you to this, um, the current sponsors, and also to thank God for all he's been doing for the past seven years. Can we all please also give God a big, big round of applause for seven years of hours of praise, you know, occurring every year? Okay, so my work here is also to tell you about, and I'm sure a number of you know this, those regular attendees of uh, this annual event. So we would normally, as a charity, support another charity every year. So we've supported um, Great Ormond Children's Hospital. We've supported uh, Manhood De Development. That's a, um, a charity for, for young boys. And last year, we supported Richard's House, and that is a children's hospice. This is a place where they support children who are at the end of their lives. So it's really the end of life care. And so what we did last year was we did a charity walk to help fundraise for that, um, for that hospice. And we did that again last week, right? Some of us did that. Some of us could not attend, as a she. Don't look at me. Um, but yes, we did that work last week and funds were also raised. But to give you also an opportunity, if, you, if, if, if God has laid it on your heart to support them, then there would also be another um, QR code that would be going up, a Just Given uh, page for Richard's house that will be coming up shortly that you could also scan and contribute to so we can send off the funds early next week. So we just want to say thank you in advance. And as um, Brother Soji said, we would definitely be um, in contact with you, especially those who are um, supporting and partnering with us. And we also, to support what he said, 
we also do have our account. So everything is clear as day, right? We, every, we are transparent. We've got our accounts on, online as well. So we are a registered charity, and we are making sure that we're doing everything, everything, I say, by the books. So thank you once again for supporting us, and thank you for coming. Because if, if we throw a party and no one comes, what would be the point of it? So thank you very much, and God bless each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Um, when Brother Soji was talking, the only thing that crossed my own personal mind, I said, God, you have to speed up this work you're doing in my finances. When one man can fund an entire concert, and some of us are still fighting over Gary and bread and beans, I shall be next. See, transparency. Um, as many of you know and saw, Called Out Music was on the flyer. All um, marketing and advertising was done. But unfortunately, Called Out Music is not feeling very well. We also have to remember him in our prayers. But we have one more gift coming straight after the quick weird word we have on let there be light. Just before I introduce um, the man of God that will come and share with us quickly, can I ask everybody to stand up quickly and please bring out your mobile phones. If you can bring out your mobile phones and switch your lights on and then can we have the venue turn on off the lights, very cool. We have everyone put their lights on. I'm just following instructions, so I don't even know. Paparazzi, tell me when you've got your, you've got your shots. Can we have everyone put their... Straight after this, it will, let, it will be let there be light. It looks beautiful. Shake your phones at the entrance of his word there is light. May God's light continue to shine in our lives. May his light expose any form of darkness and any form of ignorance. And may that same light expose anybody around us that doesn't have our best intentions. You people said amen to that one very well. Many snakes hanging around. May they be uprooted and removed in 2024. Come on, let's put our hands together and appreciate God. When I was being baptized as a child, the priest pronounced my name wrongly. It was a tongue twister for him. And my dad made him repeat it at least three times. He said, sir, that is not the name. Call him Chukwe Mecca. And the poor priest was struggling. Chukwe, 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 Chukwe. Emiki, Emiki. And my dad kept on making him repeat it. I've heard that story my entire life, so now I'm very conscious about messing up anybody else's name. Hopefully, the man of God is not going to make me come back and repeat his name. But I can do all things through Christ. Let us put our hands together and welcome the man of God, Pastor Jacob. Here we go. Degbaum. Come on, let's appreciate him. Did I get that? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amen. It is well with you in Jesus' name. 
Can I hear better amen from people of God? It is well with you in the name of Jesus. You are coming here tonight. You are going to have divine encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. I can have a seat for a few minutes before we go into the um, prophetic ministrations. The Bible says that in the beginning, God created the heaven and what? The earth. And the earth was without form and was void. There was nothing happening there. And darkness was upon the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. When God saw what was wrong, he then said, Let there be what? Let there be light. And there was light. And that light is Christ Jesus. He has been in the beginning. The Bible says, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And God was the word. The same was in the beginning. People of God. And uh, John chapter 9 verse uh, 5. Christ Jesus will tell us clear. That as for as long as I am here in the world. I am who? I am the light of the world. I stand on the rock of ages tonight. And I prophesy into the life of somebody that in the midst of your darkness, there shall be light. Oh, where is that strong amen? I want to hear powerful amen. In the midst of darkness surrounding your life, there shall be light. In the name of Jesus Christ, there shall be light. In the name of Jesus. Can you stand up again? You want to invite the light of God into situations of your life. That situation may be confusing you, may be troubling your heart, may be frustrating you. The situation may be weakening your faith. The situation may want you to compromise. If you are ready in Christ Jesus, that situation may be threatening your faith. And you don't want to agree with it. Because he that is in you and I is greater than he that is in the world. People of God... I want you to raise up your hand right now and begin to prophesy into your personal life. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Enter my life right now. I am intentionally inviting you. For without you, I can do nothing. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. I am intentionally inviting you right now. Penetrate into my life. And take over all situations. People of God begin to prophesy right now wherever you are. Begin to say something. Begin to tell God about that situation you don't like. That situation you don't want it to continue. Begin to prophesy into your life. Begin to tell him something right now. Begin, before you begin to hear the word of the Lord from my mouth. Before you begin to hear the prophecies from my mouth. Begin to tell the Lord. And to everyone that is matured for marriage. And you need your marriage. But marriage is not happening. Can you tell the Lord about it? That you don't want to come here next year as a single. You want to come here married. And everyone that is already in marriages. And uh, there, there seem to be turbulence. There seem to be storm. And you, you're going through some things. In fact, people around you can begin to ask you questions. Did you pray over it before you step into it? You, are, you seem to be confused. You, 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 you seem to be en having an encounter with certain level of challenges right now. That seem to be shaking you and moving you. Can you begin to tell the Lord, let there be light in that marriage. Let there be light. People of God, are you praying? Are you telling, are you telling the Lord? Are you telling the Lord right now? Perventure God has blessed you with children, but they seem to be making some kinds of choices. And the choices are not there to glorify God. Can you begin to tell God concerning those children right now? Lord, let there be light in the lives of my children right now. I want them to come back to you. Yes. Are you telling the Lord? The Lord is right there beside you. He's the Lord who can do it for you. 
only for him to trust in, you, in him. And uh, one of the ways we demonstrate our faith in him is praying unto him. You don't pray to the one or ask from the one that you don't trust. Yes, can you begin to tell the Lord right now? Whatever be your own situation, or maybe the pandemic of 20 years ago has frustrated your finances and your business doesn't seem to be going well. Can you begin to tell the Lord, let there be light and let the business begin to pick up right now. Are you telling the Lord, begin to talk to the Lord. The Lord is mighty to save. He's great to save. He's wonderful. He has all the power to do all things. The Bible says that he is far above all the principalities and powers and dominions and might and above every other name that can be named. Not only in this world, but in that which is to come. So Christ Jesus is greater than the name of that sickness. If your own is sickness, can you begin to tell the Lord? Call that sickness by the name that the doctor has called it. He could hear the voice of the Lord. Yes, Christ Jesus is far above them all. Begin to tell the Lord right now. Yes, if yours is sickness, tell it to the Lord. Lord, my body is your temple. And it should be the dwelling place of your spirit and not of sickness. Yes, let there be light in my body. And let the light of God take over right now. The power of the light, we expose. The power of the light, we destroy the walls of darkness. Yes, begin to tell the Lord. Do you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you telling him right now? Can I? Can Yes. Can I see you? Yes. Concentrating and asking from him. He's more than able to do all things. Yes. Hallelujah. He raised. He raised. Yes. Hallelujah. He raised. He raised. Hallelujah. Begin to ask from the Lord. He has the power over them all. Yes. All power in heaven and on earth has been given unto the Lord. And he has the power to do all things. The Bible has told you and I that these signs shall follow us. That in his name we shall cast out the devil. Begin to tell the Lord right now. Yes, whatever thing out there, right in your body, in your home, in the life of your wife or your children, your spouse, begin to tell the Lord, I don't want it anymore. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. I want you to sing this song along with me. And I want to be hearing your voice loud and clear. Because the Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. And, uh, you know, he's alive. He remains alive. And he remains the light of the world. Hallelujah, Jesus raised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, my God reigns. Hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. Hallelujah, he reigns, he reigns. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus reigns. Can I hear you? Louder, hallelujah, my God, raise. Oh, he raised, he raised, and sit confidently. He raised with all confidence, with all confidence, say it aloud. No, hallelujah, Jesus, raised. Hallelujah, my God, raise. Oh, he raised, he raised. Oh, he raised, he raised. One more time. Hallelujah, Jesus, raised. Hallelujah, my God, raised. Oh, he raised, he raised. Oh, 
he reigns, he reigns. Begin to ask from the Lord what you want for the year 2024. What you want for the year 2024. Begin to tell it to the Lord right now. What you want for the year 2024. God is able to do more than you and I can imagine. He has the power that transforms lives. Begin to ask the Lord those things you want from God. The Lord is able. Yes, He's able. He's able to do all things. He's able to do all things. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I want to be hearing your resounding amen. amen. Can you repeat it again? Amen. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. I want to hear the sound of that amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For he has given us a name, he has given a name that is above other names. That at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, all the knees must bow. Everything that you are covering under your wears, they are problems, they are reproaches, they are not glorifying the name of the Lord. At the name, at the mention of the name of Jesus, I command them to bow. Can I hear you again? I command them to bow. This year 2024, wherever you are standing right now, receive the supernatural grace to go and prosper. Receive the supernatural grace to go and prosper. Receive the supernatural grace to go and prosper. The Bible says, that for these reasons the son of God was manifested that he might destroy the walls of the devil every work of the devil in your life right now that seems to be tormenting you in one way or the other I am standing by the authority of Jesus Christ and I decree by the, by the reason of his atoning blood on the cross of Calvary every work of the devil in your lives are destroyed they are destroyed. The power of joblessness is destroyed. The power of financial frustrations are destroyed. The power of financial inadequacies, they are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the rock of ages and I decree to your lives, go and be blessed. This year 2024, there are some lines of sources that you may not have crossed before and that's why you say your money, the money you are getting is not enough because there is another level of sources you need to cross over as you are going from this hour of praise to this year this is the word of God into your life that the lines of sources that you have never crossed before after this program go and cross it in the name of Jesus Go and cross it in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God. Receive the favor of God. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Come on, let's put our hands together. Let's put our hands together. We are down to the last bus stop. I'm not sure why you're sitting down. Um, this next person coming, you won't be sitting down for long. So by all means, as you know, in boxing, whenever the round finishes, they stretch out the boxer's legs. So stretch out your legs very quickly. The last gift of God we're having this evening um, he spends a lot of time going to the gym, you will see. Um, still, he hasn't told me 
the guy that sews his clothes, you will see. Um, he can play football a little bit, but not much. But he has stamina. Please stand to your feet. Let us finish with praise. Let us finish with thanks. Let us finish with worship. Ladies and gents, brothers and sisters, let us welcome our brother, Dayo Bello. From January to December, Nibo Bono, Ashe. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. for hours of praise today you know there's a song that i wrote long time ago for the young people here and my song oh lord tend to my prayer to the end of time i will sing to you let me hear you Gentlemen, help me welcome Mobile Award winner, Faith Child. Woo! Hallelujah. Woo! So he's going to put a rap on it. Is that all right? Ruth, help me out. Bring it 
in him for love's goodness, his mercies and compassion. I'm walking in the love's goodness.
Yeah. yeah. 
people's fragrance Then it's up to fire My worship is my word
front. Hold on to your neighbor. Are you ready? Hold on to that neighbor. And it goes your lonely and it goes wow. Are you ready? I have space in front of me. There is space here. There is space here. There is space here. Oh yeah. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Bring your neighbor to the front. Bring your neighbor to the front.
It's alright to lift up your hands. It's a sign of surrender. I am grateful, God. I was a praise. I was a praise. We're gonna sing it one more time. We will declare one more time. If you can think, you can thank. Say, I am grateful, Lord. I am grateful. Oh, God. Radaba shata leketelebo reketebo shata. I am grateful, oh Lord. Oh, yeah. You've done for me. Say, I am grateful, God. In your own way, come and open up your mouth and decree it. I am grateful, Lord. In your own way, whatever way you want to sing. Sing it whatever way. You are the bride and morning star, the hell and the father of the fatherless, the only judge of widows. We magnify you, Lord, oh Lord, for all you have done. Ejile ni nu ejile, eshe o, ejile ni nu ejile. Oh God is here. I was a praise to ejile ni nu ejile. I wish God's gifts were here. Eshe, ejile ni nu ejile. Hallelujah. Come on, let's appreciate him. Praise the Lord. We just got about three or four minutes and we promised we'll be on our way. So I want to say to us today that um, you know that we are the body of Jesus Christ. So we can't really say bye-bye because we are together. And I sense that there's a roll call this today in heaven. You are acknowledged. God has acknowledged you. Your voice has been heard. And your praises has reached the heavens. We want to thank everyone for coming today. We appreciate everyone. It's been a wonderful day. But um, we just love to acknowledge few people. All the pastors in the house want to thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your love. 
We want to thank the members of Christ Apostolic Church UK. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you richly. Thank you for that word, the revelation that came. We want to thank God for the King's Family Center. We want to thank God for New Covenant Church. We want to thank God for Testing Academy. We want to thank God for Premier Gospel Radio. And we believe that Minister Tio is in the house. I just want us to acknowledge Brother Tio. Please step up from Premier Gospel Radio. Such a wonderful man of God. We want to thank you, sir. You want to say something? Just thanks, everyone, for coming out. Soji was worried that we wasn't going to get enough people here, but thank you all for coming, registering. Tell your friends, tell your family, next year we're going to be bigger and better. Big up Chubin Yeka. Did I say your name right? Charles Emeka. Do I need to say it seven times? <laughs> <laughs> but blessings, thank you all for coming, guys. Thank you so much, sir. We want to thank God for all the volunteers who have been working behind the scene. We want to thank you all. Our trustees are there around. Sister Hagnes, Sister Esther, Brother Remy, I want to thank God for your life. You've, been, you've done such a wonderful work to make sure that this is a reality. We thank God for your lives. And um, we also want to thank GD, G24 Radio Station. Thank you so much. Thank you because you've, you really, really helped us. And... Um, I want to be sure that I've not missed anyone out. And I want to thank you all for coming. But more importantly, to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, more than what we can ask or think according to his power that worketh within us. To him alone be the glory and the honor and the praise. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your loving kindness. You are worthy to be praised. And brethren, 2025, mark your calendar January. We'll be here, if God will, praising and worshiping him again and again. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. And surely God's goodness shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. And God's people say, Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much, sir. God Thank bless you, you richly. So make sure you still go to church tomorrow. Oh, yes. Amen. Good night.